Welcome to the spice island of Zanzibar. Tambo! Spices were brought to the rich and fertile soils of Zanzibar a thousand years ago. They were considered one of the world's most prized commodities, even rivaling gold. The Arabs started large spice plantations which made Zanzibar the world's biggest exporter of cloves at the time and earned its name the Spice Island. Today we are touring a spice farm to learn about the flavors of Zanzibar. Oh my god! Get quizzed about our knowledge on spices. Now the smell is familiar but I'm not sure what the plant is. See up close how spices like cloves, cardamom and cinnamon are grown and taste some locally grown fruit straight from the land. The best coconut meat that I've ever had in my life. But before, some makeup is in order to spice things up a little bit and what's better than mother nature's lipstick? This is a shrub that's actually native to Central America but clearly made its way to this farm in East Africa and it's known for its natural orange-red condiment. When I take one seed and crush it out, we get the color. Wow, you really do. So he will put on his lips straight by. <laughs> Does it have a good taste? It mm, has no taste. That's why I say we never eat it raw as a normal fruit. We use it as a makeup ah. and we use it as a spices only for food in color. Wow, that's really like powerful. Mm -hmm. mm, wow. Does it feel like a thicker paste? Does it, like, does it remind you of lipstick already or is it a bit watery compared to... It's actually a nice uh, consistency. It just feels like a lip balm. It's got enough moisture. This tree right here is a cinnamon tree and it's known as the queen of spices. And here's why. It's the queen because we use the whole tree. We don't waste anything from it. Okay. Are we using the leaves? We use the bark and we use the root. We get three smell in one tree. Also different the way how we use it. The leaves we use a lot in Zanzibar if during by Ramadan. If we fasting, we don't eat by whole day, we don't drink anything until after sunset. So after sunset, before we start to have the meal, we need to prepare something which is going to break our fast. So we make a porridge between corn flour, leaves of cinnamon, boil it together with the water, we make a porridge, we drink after sunset together with the date goes to open our stomach, it is giving appetizer, then we eat it enough as we can. The bark of cinnamon, when we peel off like this, after six months totally, they recover by self to the tree. How do we get cinnamon sticks, which is, looks brown and roll up? We cut the whole tree from here. Wow. If we cut from here, this part grows up a new shoot, this trunk, take back home. Take back home and sit down, right? If you sit down, you need to take off the rough skin. I mean, clean like this way first. Oh, okay. Okay? This is how we clean, because we need to have this brown in color. Then, we chop into pieces the size of cinnamon stick, right? Remove the skin slowly by all around. When you dry to the sun, itself goes and roll up, becomes cinnamon stick. We don't have like machine, take the back, put in the machine, roll them, no. Just it is depend by strong of the sun and the way how you peel off the skin. So from cinnamon stick, we may grind it, we made it into powder. We put in tea, coffee, milk, rice, bread, in cake for flavor. The root of cinnamon we use in Zanzibar to protect our body for the COVID. Why we used to protect our body by using cinnamon root? Because are they smell like Vicks Viper up. When we get sinus uh, cold, if we get fever, take the root of cinnamon and we do inhale it for steaming, what I mean. We boil with the water, then we take the blanket, we do inhalation, or we do stimulation. This one, the root of cinnamon. Now you're going to smell of a Vicks. Get it? Wow, I really do. Vicks oh my it. God. This is a small plant of cinnamon. This part here is a part of the root, grows underneath. This part here is above, smell totally different with the root. So we can see how they're different right now. The roots smell like Vicks Viper herb, and the bark smell of cinnamon. Here now we can see how the different cinnamon smell it, Vicks Viper herb. In one In one of tree, yeah. That's crazy. Wow. That's amazing.
Have you ever used nutmeg before? I personally have many times, but I never knew what the fruit looked like. Nutmeg! What we use is this, the red pots. We okay. take them out. We dry to the shed and grind it. We made the powder. We put in cake. We use it as a nice decoration. And the nut, what you buy to your country, which is looks brown in color, we get the inside of that nut again. Okay. We dry first, then it will shake out. Then we break yes, it, we're going to take off the brown nut inside. The brown nuts, Thank you. what people, they grind it and made into powder. They use them in a bechamel sauce, pudding, mashed potato, vegetarian, curry, Ooh. rice for flavor. Instead of it, uh, this nutmeg, if you put in, in in the food, you have to put very little bit because it's poisonous. Okay. If you put much, you will get high. So our women in Zanzibar, yes, the Muslim, are they not allowed to drink alcohol? During by waiting, we play local music. They want to come and join with the people and get party. But we got shyness women, boring women. For to remove the shyness, they will take three, four of nuts and grind it. They boil with the porridge or in tea. When they drink it, five, ten minutes, their eyes, they will change, becomes really sex eyes or like <laughs> marijuana eyes. When they go back to waiting, all the shyness away, they go crazy. <laughs> Is this our secret of Zanzibar? Why people do they have too much baby? Because of nightmare. Ah. <laughs> you have a kind of aphrodisiac of Viagra. Don't ask anyone in Zanzibar why people do they have too much baby because of nutmeg. Oh, uh -huh. boy. It's like uh, drugs. If you, dr if you drink much of it, you will get high and crazy. This next plant is fresh turmeric. Holy cow, I like carrot. Oh, that smells already good. Mm -hmm. smell it smells. Thank you. That really smells so fresh. Saffron is really expensive spice in the world. Instead of saffron, we use turmeric in Zanzibar. We do call it turmeric is the poor main saffron because it's cheaper than saffron itself. It's very medicinal turmeric for the anti-inflammatory. If for those people who don't run much in toilet, I mean digestion problem, take turmeric, papaya, and uh, milk, which is hot. Put in the blender, we blend them, and make a kind of juice. Drink it, you'll be fine. So we say actually, young coconut water, are they good for clean pee pee? Turmeric and papaya, are they good for popo? Oh. Our women, when they get acne, if they get acne or pimples, they take turmeric, ginger, cloves, all in powder. Coconut oil, mix them together, they apply to the face. Every half an hour, they wash fresh by water, the acne are coming out and becomes pretty almost. Right here, you see, is ginger. Oh wow. This ginger grows like this, long. Okay. Yeah. And the ginger, the plant itself, when the time for harvesting, as you see, the plant are get to die themselves. Oh, if they die themselves, we just Thank come you. and pull out the roots. We use ginger when they're fresh. If we buy the meat, which is really tough, take ginger, grate out, boil it with the tough meat, the meat become tender and soft. It's the medicine for those people who are suffering by coughing, stomach. We make tea of ginger, drink <laughs> it, you will be fine with that. For the traveling seasickness, or if you feel to vomiting, take ginger and chew it. As you make tea, drink it, stop to vomiting. Ginger when they dry and powder, we make a candy, biscuit. South Africa, they make ginger ale or ginger beer. In Zanzibar, we get our own company. We make this order, which is called Stony Tangawizi. Tangawizi is that the name of ginger in Swahili. I love the Tangawizi. Stony, stony, the time when you drink, you feel stony right here. <laughs> you have to remember that this is Muslim country. Yep. And Muslim who live in Zanzibar, they're allowed to get marriage by four wife. So for four wife, they say they make hard work. To get them power, they make ginger tea and honey. They will drink it. They say all the problem goes to finish. So they use nutmeg. They know they use ginger. Has a kind of aphrodisiac or Viagra for the men. Next on the tour are cloves. Cloves have been a major export crop of Zanzibar for more than 150 years. In Zanzibar, they are the king of spices. We call it cloves. Is the king of spices because was imported by Sultan the one from Oman. The tree where native come from, Indonesia. Indonesia, they make cigarette. By, clo by using cloves. I've smoked Yeah, for those people who smoke, they will have a strong flavor by strong smell. Zanzibar, a long time ago, people, they smoke marijuana and we're not allowed. We made oil out of it, which is medicine good for toothache. If we're suffering yes. by diarrhea, take cloves, boil with the water, fill it out, drink it, stop it for diarrhea. The viney plant. Is this the spices? Now it's the real season. You can see the pod with the flower. Is this the vanilla pod? We wait to get them bigger like this size, mm. looks yellow in color. And uh, how long does it take to be matured? 
about five up to six months. <laughs> and why vanilla expensive in, in, in Zanzibar? Because they need a long work, a long process. As you see from beginning, they're coming out between vanilla pod with the flower. So we wait the flower until they get open themselves and becomes like an orchid. When they open flower inside, we must do pollination. Because in Madagascar, they pollinate vanilla by using butterfly, bees and other insects. Back in Zanzibar, we pollinate vanilla manually by hand. Why? Because we don't have so much of bee or butterfly. What we have to do, wake up early in the morning around 5.30. Why 5.30? Because 5 Saturday morning is the right time to find all the flower are open themselves. Mm. If they open the flower vanilla, soon you have to pollinate. When you come very late, because the flower when they get sunrise, they will fall down by itself. So you didn't pollinate and vanilla pod, it will never get bigger. Coffee beans. In Zanzibar, many of these spices are used not only for cooking or for medicinal purposes, but to make a tasty signature coffee, Zanzibar coffee. Zanzibar coffee, we mix by different kind of the spices in order to have a different flavor. We made a ginger coffee, cardamom coffee, cinnamon coffee, vanilla coffee. Have you tasted before banana banana coffee? No. We used to take sweet banana, which is yellow. Okay. We remove the skin out. The flesh which is inside, chop into pieces, dry to the sun. We do grind it, we made it into powder. Take a coffee powder, cow milk, which is very fresh, mix with banana, boil it together we're going to have a sweet coffee, which is called banana coffee. Ylang Ylang is a tropical tree native to Southeast Asia. It's used for alleviating anxiety and lowering blood pressure, but it's also known for being an ingredient in some of the most sophisticated perfumes. Always French, they made perfume, which is expensive and popular, which is called Chanel No. 5. When yeah. I say Chanel 5, it has a mix, a bit of alcohol, chemical, they put this flower to the Chanel because it is giving a strong smell. Remember that, we Muslim, we're not allowed to drink alcohol because really that alcohol, when you, go, when you drink, goes straight in the blood. Perfume, we're allowed to use any kind of perfume because we never drink it. So they stay outside of the skin, right? Okay. Uh, remember, every Friday is a special day for the Muslim. We're not allowed to go to pray by using perfume which has alcohol or chemical. What do we do? Take flour in the yellow, boil with the water for five minutes, take them out of the flour, go and mix with the coconut oil. Leave to the house for two, three, up to four or five days. Go and take off the flour, squeeze by hand, we made a pure incense oil. We use it as a perfume, we do call it Zanzibar Chanel No. 0, which is <laughs> smell good and nice. And we're off to taste some fresh fruit from the farm, starting with a unique climbing show. <laughs> This is probably the best coconut meat that I've ever had in my life. This is this is great. We just watched the guy right here as he climbed the tree to get some coconuts, slice them. The water was great, the meat is great. This is just incredible. Uh, we're doing some uh, fruit tasting right here. We just had some uh, green oranges, which was really tasty. And then we're trying some uh, cucumber. And this is watermelon. In Swahili, we call tikiti maji. Tikiti maji. Yeah. Tikiti means melon, maji is water. Asante. Karibu. I believe we are going to conclude the tour here with uh, tasting some uh, tea masala or masala tea and uh, I will let uh, Muhammad, our guide, explain to you all of the spices in this tea. I'm very excited to try it. There is a, inside there cloves leaves, lemongrass, black pepper which is black itself, the powder, there is a uh, cinnamon sticks or cinnamon box, lemongrass itself and vanilla. So I think our tea becomes sounds good and very tasty. With this spiced cup of tea, we wrap up our adventure at the farm. See you in the next one.